Building muscle is simple. You lift weights, drink protein shakes, and that's really all you have to worry about, right? Well, regardless of the fact that this is an extreme oversimplification, muscle growth really is dependent almost entirely on training hard and eating right. As great advice as this may be for a beginner, it leaves a lot of questions unanswered. And quite frankly, these questions remain unanswered because people just don't want to talk about them, often because they don't entirely understand them. In this video, I'm going to shed light on five of these relatively untold topics about building muscle that most people just won't tell you. The first thing that people won't tell you about building muscle is that it takes much longer than you probably think it does. There is a ridiculous amount of misinformation out there from online fitness gurus who claim that their training programs can help people put on 10 pounds of muscle in just one month. Unfortunately, this leads many new lifters to expect to see considerable gains from a rather minimal time investment. Realistically, even though new lifters can gain muscle at a rapid rate, it's extremely rare for anyone to gain more than three pounds of muscle in a month. In fact, depending on genetics, diet, and training quality, a person completely new to lifting might not even gain half a pound of muscle in the first month of training. If you think that's slow, you might be horrified to hear that most advanced lifters who have been training for at least five or six years would be lucky to build two or three pounds of muscle each year, although the realistic figure is likely closer to just one pound per year of lean muscle tissue. Now, this shouldn't discourage you from training though, as even just one or two pounds of muscle can be very noticeable. Expecting to see 10 pounds, however, is simply unrealistic unless we're talking about results after training for multiple years. The second thing that few people ever mention about building muscle is that you're gonna probably have to gain fat in the process. Technically speaking, it's very much possible to put on muscle without putting on any extra body fat. However, the rate of muscle protein synthesis, which is what dictates muscle growth, is highest when you're in a caloric surplus. Moreover, the higher the surplus, the greater the rate of protein synthesis, although only up to a certain degree, of course. This means that if you really wanted to build 10 pounds of muscle in your first six months of training, you'd almost have to be eating in a 500 to 1,000 calorie surplus per day. Since there are 3,500 calories and one pound of fat, you could possibly gain one or two pounds of fat per week while eating like this. In other words, if you want to gain as much muscle mass as possible, you're unfortunately going to also have to gain possibly even more fat in the process. Fortunately though, it's much easier to lose this excess fat in the future than it is to build that additional muscle in the first place. Now, the third thing that no one talks about when it comes to gaining muscle is something that's kind of a double-edged sword. As hard as muscle mass is to gain, it's relatively easy to lose if you stop training altogether. In general, the rate of muscle protein breakdown will exceed the rate of muscle protein synthesis after two or three weeks of no resistance training. And if you were bedridden during this time, this time frame, which would be shortened to seven to 10 days with you likely losing pounds of muscle each subsequent week. However, as long as you're still somewhat active during this time, you won't lose a lot of your hard earned muscle. In fact, research has shown that it requires extremely little stimulus to maintain muscle, roughly in the ballpark of just two or three somewhat challenging sets per muscle group per week. As such, even an entire month of of extremely limited training won't likely have much of an effect on your overall physique. And even in the worst case scenario where you do unfortunately lose much of your muscle after fighting a serious illness or injury, the good news is that it's much easier to gain that lost muscle back than it was to gain it in the first place. This is due to the concept of muscle memory, which refers to the accumulation of myonuclei in growing muscles. When your muscles grow, the individual muscle fiber experience an increase in myonuclei, which helps the muscle fibers sustain their larger sizes. However, even when these muscle fibers shrink, the myonuclei remain for an extremely long time, possibly even permanently. Therefore, once you start training again after a long break, your muscles essentially already have the infrastructure to get back to the size 
they once were, which makes the process much quicker than it was the first time. It'll still take a few months or maybe even a year, depending on how much muscle that you actually lost, but all that hard work gaining it before was not for nothing. All right, the fourth thing that people won't tell you about building muscle is that doing too much can actually cost you muscle. It sounds hard to believe, but it's absolutely true. As I explained earlier, muscle growth is dependent on the rate of muscle protein synthesis compared to the rate of muscle protein breakdown. Now, in other words, your muscles are constantly growing and breaking themselves down at the same time, just like all the other cells in the body do. The problem is that lifting weights causes a ton of damage to your muscles, which requires a lot of energy and time to repair. If you're doing something ridiculous like 40 sets of biceps each and every week, you're causing so much muscle damage that your biceps will never fully recover. Consequently, this means that your workouts are actually making your muscles smaller because they're never able to fully repair themselves. This is why it's so crucial that you emphasize your recovery while doing simple things like getting enough sleep, eating enough protein, staying hydrated, and keeping your weekly volume somewhere around 10 to 25 sets per muscle group per week. And last but certainly not least, the fifth thing that people won't tell you about building muscle is that effort and intensity are everything. This one might sound somewhat obvious, but every lifter with serious goals of putting on muscle needs to know how to truly challenge themselves in the gym. In order for muscle growth to occur, your muscles need to be brought within roughly zero to four reps from failure. Even though most people can understand this, their perception of failure is often incorrectly based on mental factors and the burning sensation they feel in their muscles. Unfortunately, muscle failure is not based on pain or mental perception, but rather the actual physical inability to lift a weight for another rep. Without enough effort to truly experience muscular failure and understand your limits, you might never be subjecting your muscles to the level of stimulus that is actually necessary to cause the growth results you're looking for. All right, as tempting as it is to simplify building muscle as just lifting weights and drinking shakes, the truth is that there's much more to it than that. The five things I talked about in this video are extremely important for every lifter to know, but in terms of helping them to see their desired results and also in terms of knowing what to expect, these are crucial to that success. Now, considering how long it takes to build muscle, not knowing what results to expect or whether or not you're even training correctly in the first place can be an extremely time-consuming mistake. With that said, if you're tired of wasting your time trying to figure it all out on your own, then I would love to work with you and simplify the process for you. So make sure you check out the links in the description box below to get more information on my programs and leave me a comment if you're interested in learning about my one-on-one -on -one online coaching program. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. And with that said, get busy, get after it, and God bless.